Today we're going to review the latest player in tray tire hold racks, the Eno INH20 for $500. Curious? Tune in and find out more. So we have a new player in the tray rack game uh, for Eno from Japan, Japanese, Japanese design, uh, designed and made. And this is, the, this is their entry. I've used their racks before, the roof racks, very well made. And this is their first attempt at the tire hold game. And what they bring to the table is a very sleek, stealth design, clean looking, matte finish, very simple, nice branding, and a tool-free design, tool-free meaning you put it on your car and put, take it off with no tools. It's all in here. So the other thing is you can adjust the, the wheels that you can take from, from 29 and maybe bigger, 29 plus, to 20 inch without any tools. So they have a really cool, one of the, one of the nicest uh, release mechanisms tilt the, uh, the middle position and then boom. It's very smooth. You don't, you don't really have to unweight it like some of the other models. So very smooth action. It's, it's sturdy, but not that sturdy. So at this, there's a little bit of wobble this way, but right here, you know, it's got a hitch cam mechanism, so it's okay. Okay, so when we put on a bike, the the magic, I'll, I'll use this tray so you can see what I'm doing. So the magic to these wheel hold trays is a an arm like this. So it's a, normally a two-handed operation. You press a button and you work it, but you can almost, You can almost do it with one hand if, if your other hand is busy. So they have a capacity 60 pounds per bike. So uh, e-bikes and heavy bikes welcome. 48 inch, inch wheelbase is what they say you can transport safely. Not that big in this day and age because uh, the Saris is 53 and the new one up is uh, 56. So you open it up before you put it on. Oh, by the way. They put a big rubber mat here so it doesn't rattle uh, when it's at rest and uh, prevents scratches. So that's kind of cool. So these things have a nice mold to it. The plastic wheel holds, it's shaped to hug your tire. Plus bike compatible. As you can see, yeah, we're pretty close to the edge. So if you're extra large and you're riding one of those very rad enduro bikes, Maybe not for you. So front wheel first is usually the most secure. And then I like how the, the plastic mold is shaped to accept the shape of the tire. Very nice. So there you go. So it's quite stable. It doesn't have a wedge here. You could put one if you're if you have a very heavy bike and you're concerned about wobble. And you have your tilt feature. The tilt is very easy to activate, so it's very smooth in operation. There you go. So what we like, what we don't like, we like that it's tool free, no tools at all. Um, there's a cam there. Uh, with, a, with a key. It comes with a lock. That's kind of cool. It has inch and a quarter or two inch compatibility with an adapter. It has a little safety pin that you get in there um, in case your cam releases or gets loose over time. So a little bit of redundancy. What we don't like is it's a little bit tilted. When you, when you tighten the cam, it tightens it at a corner. So it, it tilts the rack a little bit. It's more aesthetics. You can probably shim it if you're concerned 
about the, the, the perfect horizontal length uh, or the position of it. The, uh, it's not quite as, as, as sturdy, you know, as the, as the latest one up and the um, and Saris uh, and, and the new Thule's. So if your bikes are, are if you're very concerned about wiggle or you're, you do a lot of rough roads, maybe this is not the one. Um, wheelbase obviously is not the biggest, but what it brings to the table is tool free, kind of competitive pricing out there, 500, you know, for a, for a nice finish. And it's just got that nice stealth looking design from a trusted company called Eno, a limited lifetime warranty. So, and let's try taking it off just to see ease of use on this one. So press the button. I like the action on the buttons. You don't have to, to unweight it. Uh, seem to have a good, uh, good geometry in there. So here is what I'm talking about. Ah, it, it is quite easy. Now I'm, I'm able to just push the arm with one hand while holding the bike with the other. So that's kind of convenient. Nice close, rubber protected. And then middle position. And there you go. This is your cam right here. Tool free. You can install it, uninstall it without tools at all. So thank you for watching.